right into our cases for this evening. Our first case on the agenda this evening is a late court case. Eric, you want to present, present that to us tonight? Thank you. Sir, good evening. Hi, I'm Ariel Godwin from the Southern Georgia Regional Commission in the capacity of planner for the city of Lake Park this evening. The city of Lake Park would like to do an amendment. Eric, hold on a second. Jason, is this Michael? Yeah, uh, it, it is totally on. Uh, I'm sorry about that. I will speak to the mic. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, okay, so the city of Lake Park would like to do a text amendment to their zoning ordinance, specifically the development standards table. Uh, and in the staff report, you can see the table as it currently is and as it will look after the amendment. And the change is under the RP, Residential Professional District, and the change is to the minimum lot area for development. It's currently one acre, uh, and they want to change it so that if a lot has city water and sewer service, or public water and sewer service, then that lot can be developed with a minimum size of 6,000 square feet. This has come up because there are a small handful of lots in the city, in the RP district, that are under an acre, that are well within range of water and sewer service, um, but that are under an acre, but that are well over 6,000 square feet. Thank you, Ariel. Does, does any of the commissioners have any questions for the presenter? Yes, I do. Commissioner Gladden? Um, Ariel, it seems like the difference between one acre to 6,000 square feet is really drastic. And without seeing a map of how the districts are distributed within the community, it's hard to sort of see how that impacts the overall area. Well, uh, it's, the impact is not, I, I would say it's not great. I, I think they've chosen 6,000 square feet based on the current allowable minimum lot size in the RC, R6 and RC districts. And the effect, we're really talking about just a few lots, maybe two or three lots. What is RC? Um, that would be residential, commercial, um, let's see, uh, residential commercial, I believe. talking about an area of approximately 10 acres or less. It's quite have, a small area. Have they, have they brought you any drawings or any plans or anything they're trying to do in there? Because if we cut that down to 6,000, 6, you're going to wind up with seven houses on an acre. And uh, that's not going to be too good about it. Um, it's... The area. I, I've heard two different things: houses, and then I've heard villas. But I have hmm. seen no. I have saw, haven't seen any plans. Sure, I have not seen any plans either. They have not informed me of any specific case or any specific desired development that 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 anyone wants to do there. Um, Aaron, I'm just going to, you, you keep using the word today. Is that the city council? Oh, yes, the um, the city government. Yes, that's that's who I mean. So, if I may, so to reiterate, to your knowledge, there is no specific case that's actually triggering that request? Not to my knowledge, no. But if it is rezoned like that, then a contractor can come in there and build on that size lot without even having to come back for the the city council or the, or the planning commission, and I, I'm just not in favor of that. Right now, I know what their plans are. 
I could. I mean, typically for a residential professional, a 6,000 square foot lot that's compatible with the residential area would be compatible, which is what you state in your in the information you provided. But I think it's really important to see to get a layout, a map of the area that shows the current zoning designation and how that works. It makes a difference if the current RP is on the outside of the community or if it's right in the middle. I mean, I just have, right now, I don't have a concept of how the, the area looks like, how that's distributed. Um, My concern would be, too, if you had previously mentioned that it's just really concerning a couple of lots. Well, that could conceivably go from two homes to 14 homes. So it, it would make a, a huge difference. That's true, certainly. Um, I believe if we have, um, I believe we have the capability on the Valor GIS system to pull up zoning data. I would be more than happy to make some maps and conduct some more in-depth analysis for the, the next meeting uh, next month. But just um, if we were able to pull up our Valor GIS system, which shows zoning, um, that might be enlightening for tonight. Or uh, if you would prefer, uh, uh, I could uh, just come back next month with a lot more in-depth information. Any other questions for Ariel on this, Commissioners? Mm -hmm. Any discussions about myself on this, Commissioners? If not, I will uh, take a motion at this time. Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. Commissioner uh, Wallace. I'd like to make a motion that we table this request until our next meeting. And uh, in the meantime, if Ariel could provide us with some more detailed information about the request potential lots in the area uh, where we could uh, see this change have impact. Okay, we have a motion for Mr. Wilder. We have a second. Second. second for Commissioner Glavin. Any discussion before we ask for a vote? There being none, all in favor of the motion, please seek my raise your right hand. Ms. Carmella is unanimous once again. Thank you, Ariel. Thanks.